Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, if you're new here, uh, welcome, and uh, go to bookmap.com for more information on, on the software. Uh, there is a 14-day trial uh, that's free comes with education. So you get the platform, you get education. Uh, I'll also show you where you can find uh, data for a trial as well. So if you don't have a data feed. Um, so um, anyway, the education that comes along with this uh, is the educational course. Uh, and then access to the advanced order flow uh, live analysis webinars uh, that are in about a half hour uh, following this webinar. Uh, so this webinar, we go through just the basics, uh, understanding what Bookmap is, uh, how it can help you, um, what the um, uh, what, what is really displaying, uh, and then starting to um, uh, understand the order flow uh, and how it gives you an advantage. Uh, but the uh, the advanced webinars, uh, we go through um, order flow. Okay, we, we we're not on the on the um, uh, topic of of the platform uh, details any longer. Uh, we will answer some of those questions, but in general, we are looking for uh, going over the order flow uh, and looking at the live markets and what we cover in the educational course and then back it up in the live markets. Okay. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Uh, here is the website. Uh, you can see that uh, we're offering uh, digital currencies uh, pretty soon. Uh, I believe another week or so, I will have this new version 7. Uh, that's coming out and uh, I'm demoing it here today or I have for for a while now uh, for about a week um, okay so the website uh, intro video here uh, information about bookmap a little bit further down okay uh, you can sign up for the webinar here uh, this is the webinar that you'd be signed up for this current webinar uh, you can get the trial here as well uh, some testimonials, uh, book map for equities. Okay, we connect to U.S. equities. I'll go over this in a minute. Uh, it's a great data feed, though, uh, for all sorts of reasons you can read about it here. Uh, and then a bit further down, okay, connectivity. All right, so uh, book map uh, uh, connects uh, to uh, multiple markets now, uh, multiple connectivity here. Uh, but uh, the important information is book map is a software product. Okay, we are not a data provider. We do not provide the data. Uh, so uh, NinjaTrader, TTX Trader Pro here, uh, as well as Interactive Traders um, or Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation, these are platforms uh, as well. Okay, we connect to the API of these platforms, uh, but uh, you you then power your Ninja or your TT um, with uh, the data provider like Rhythmic. CQG, Gain, IQ Feed, Transact, or Dev Experts here, uh, and that would be that NASDAQ total view, which gives all U.S. equities, not just NASDAQ. Uh, so uh, you will need a data provider uh, to connect Bookmap to those live markets or through the API, as mentioned, with some of these platforms here. Um, so if you want a uh, free data feed, you can find it down here just below and in this section here under the free trial. Okay, so uh, you can click here, uh, and let's go over um, the product here. So what exactly do you get? There's Bookmap Basic and Advanced, okay? Bookmap Basic's 49 per month, 99 per month for Advanced. They're billed quarterly, you get that 14-day trial period. And the difference between the two are primarily uh, here, the, uh, the add-on indicators, okay? So the ability to trade right from the chart, uh, one-click trading, uh, the uh, large lot tracker, volume and balance, book and balance, uh, iceberg detector, and correlation tracker. Now, all of these here are proprietary indicators that we put together. Okay, they're not your typical RSI or um, stochastics, etc. Okay, these are very specific for uh, understanding order flow uh, and specific players in the order flow, like the large lot tracker. We can identify larger players in the market. And that's going to give you a, an advantage, understanding where the larger players are interested in trading. Iceberg detector, this is another one. Uh, larger players use iceberg orders, uh, and we can start to understand where they're getting filled. Uh, and that's another advantage. Uh, the um, 
quants, uh, we work with several quants. So if you uh, have your specific needs, click here to learn more, uh, to connect your uh, your own specific data feeds or however you, you want to do it, uh, or your own proprietary indicators, etc. Okay, if you want to see the comparison list, it's here. You can click on this. Um, and just a, a bit more here, social media, follow us uh, on uh, or at bookmap underscore pro. And then uh, a YouTube page, uh, all sorts of videos here. Uh, I'd recommend watching some of the intro videos if you're new. Uh, and then features and components so you understand, you know, what bookmap is and, and the interface. Uh, and then uh, these uh, order flow video snippets. This is where uh, bookmap and, and what we go through in the um, advanced uh, webinars uh, in the live market. Okay, so uh, these are very concise videos, though, that just go through the concepts, identifying it and how bookmap is showing it. Uh, and um, uh, they're really insightful, uh, just a few minutes long. Uh, they give you that overview of what's going on. Uh, but then, um, you know, come to the uh, advanced order flow webinars uh, for more in-depth uh, discussion or details on these concepts. All right, let's take a look at Bookmap. Uh, and, um, oh, okay, so uh, I have, um, this is the Bookmap 7.0. It's not available yet, okay, but it will be uh, soon. Okay, another week or so. Uh, and what am I looking at here? So this looks like a pretty crazy chart. Um, well, this is uh, Bitcoin. Okay, so this is uh, Bitcoin up here uh, versus the dollar. Uh, and um, it's uh, on the GDAX uh, exchange. Okay, this is a great data feed here compared to uh, the offerings that you see with uh, instruments from the uh, CBOE and also from the uh, CME. So, for example, why, why do I say that? Okay, let's take a quick look here. All right, so Bitcoin here, look at the spread. It is one tick wide. Okay, I mean, we're looking at thousands of dollars here, of course, with, with Bitcoin, but uh, uh, this is one tick wide. All right, and uh, look at the liquidity at some of these levels. Okay, we have 10 coins up here. Okay, this is, this is really leveraged, uh, and uh, there's liquidity at every single level here. Okay, uh, down here, actually, there's a, a couple of uh, uh, no liquidity at a few levels here, but uh, half a coin down here, and a half a coin is a lot. Right, so you can you can trade like uh, just a, a penny uh, on this, and uh, uh, still uh, find yourself in uh, in you know highly leveraged, uh, making profit or loss pretty pretty quickly. Uh, so that's the uh, GDAX. Uh, let's take a look at the Bitcoin here uh, in the futures. Okay, well here's your liquidity: one contract, three contracts. High liquidity is four contracts here. Okay. And uh, it's just it's just not much, you know. Uh, it's just not the same thing. Look at the spread. The spread is uh, fifty dollars, fifty dollars wide right now, or more than that, sixty. Okay. So you immediate if you hit the market buy, you're going to be uh, already sixty dollars down. Anyway, uh, that's uh, the difference. Let's take a look at the uh, Nasdaq, I think, or maybe crude. I'm not sure. Let's let's take a look at actually. Uh, a candlestick chart and just get a feel for what's going on in the markets here. Oh, we just had a move down in uh, NASDAQ. Uh, so yeah, we can take a look at NASDAQ and uh, what's going on there. Okay. Okay, and let me zoom out. Okay, all right. So let's go through the basics here. Uh, what are we looking at here in Bookmap? Okay, it looks like uh, you know a very foreign chart uh, to a lot of us, uh, not, not familiar with, with, uh, what we're looking at here. Um, it's actually, um, pretty straightforward data here. Uh, there's only three elements on this chart. Now, let me take off some of the, uh, add on indicators here for a moment. Uh, and then we'll go through this. Okay. There's really three elements on this chart and that's it. Historical best bid and offer, right? Uh, that's it. There's no bar here. Uh, there's no aggregation. Uh, of uh, time or price or whatever, uh, it's just um, it's just the best bid and offer plotted onto the chart. Okay, and then you can see these dots here. All of these dots. This is the volume that traded on that best bid or offer. Okay, and uh, then the last element here uh, is the heat map. Okay, this uh, colored heat map here that you see. 
which is new for version 7. The heat map is showing you a visual, a graphical display of the historical depth of market. Okay, so let's just uh, cover that quickly here because we can understand the historical uh, best bid and offer and the volume that traded there. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, but the uh, here's our dome and book map, the current order book here, as you can see. Okay, this is your depth of market. Okay, we're all pretty accustomed to looking at a dome. Uh, you see all these traders lining up here, providing liquidity and with uh, contracts at these levels, uh, and then here they are on the on the bid down here. Okay, this is your market, uh, and um, we can see high liquidity here. In 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 book map, what we do is we take these areas of high liquidity uh, and paint them in the heat map. So in this mark in this window here, you'll see the um, uh, when these numbers change, the the value changes here in the heat map. Okay, and uh, what's interesting though about this is we take the data here and we record it and plot it onto the chart historically. So now, as I zoom out, I can see what, what's going on in this market in that historical view. Okay, I can see that uh, they're up here uh, on the offer at, at 81 and then at 82. Okay, The majority of the liquidity is up here on the sell side. And then on the buy side, it's down here at 74 and 75. Okay, and we are kind of channeling between that area right now. Okay, So that's all it is, those three elements. Now, let's compare that to a candlestick chart. Okay, and let me take off all of this other data here, uh, so that um, so that we just see the basics. Okay, and and why uh, you're getting an advantage here looking at book map. Okay, so here's a five-minute candlestick chart, and we have the only other indicator that we have on here is volume. Okay, volume in the sub chart, uh, and um, the uh, uh, Candlestick charts, you know, I, I don't have a problem with uh, candlestick charts. We've all been looking at them for years. Uh, you know, you, you, on higher time frames, you, can, you know, you can start to read, you know, some of the uh, 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 buying pressure, selling pressure, et cetera. But, uh, you know, you, you really don't have uh, transparency into uh, what's going on uh, within this uh, aggregated period. And that's the problem. Uh, it's aggregated. It's open, high, low, and close of a bar of a time period or a volume period or whatever the period is, it's still aggregated. Okay, if you're even looking at Renko charts or range bars, it's still aggregated. Uh, we don't have any kind of clue about microstructural areas in here. And those are significant. Okay, we want to understand that microstructure because that's where these moves begin. And then we want to understand how the volume is relating in that microstructure. Okay, so let's just turn on the microstructure to begin with. And that's very easily done here by just showing best bid and offer. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we can see what what occurred up in this wick here. Well, this is what occurred. Uh, let's zoom into this area. Okay, uh, we we uh, we broke out of this range here. Okay, uh, all sorts of stuff that we cannot see in this candlestick whatsoever. <coughs> whatsoever. So I mean, we're range bound here, and we break out of the range very quickly here. Okay. We come up, we go above this swing over here, as you can see, and um, uh, start to uh, uh, go back and forth and, and, and create a range up outside of this bigger range. Okay, and um, uh, this is uh, important to understand. You can't see that range. You can't see this range whatsoever in the candlestick chart, and that's a problem. Okay. Uh, we want to understand what's going on in this range. Who's taking control uh, in these areas? Okay, so uh, we want you can see that uh, we come back and we retest where we broke from out of this range right here. We broke from the range here. Here's our retest right here, and it came back up into the range. Okay, but seller pre selling pressure was still in here. And now we're not even looking at volume, but we know that selling pressure is in here because we're coming back down and testing where we broke from here. Okay. And we can see that here. Are buyers going to step in or not? Well, they didn't, right? And we're going to see sellers in this area here take control, okay, and breaking breaking down here. We're going to see buyers take control over here, and we're going to see big volume dots here uh, that took place. So that's the next step here, okay? The next uh, element, uh, second element here on the bookmap chart, and that is to display the volume. 
and a lot of in, uh, unique uh, insights uh, with the volume. Okay, so here we go, uh, looking at the volume. Okay, and here are, as you can see, uh, the the aggressor uh, taking control. Okay, above into this area here. Okay, let's make these volume bounce a little bit bigger. Okay, and here we go. All right, so uh, you can see the sideways action here, and then look at them lift the offer right here. Okay, it is this kind of trading here, this aggressor. Okay, that is um, a market buys, uh, taking liquidity, sweeping the book higher, okay? Uh, and then up, up outside of this uh, swing here as well. And they're still buying, okay? They're still buying pressure, all right? So uh, we don't have any insight uh, looking at an aggregation here uh, with that, um, uh, with this kind of uh, volume detail. Uh, we have no clue, okay? So we don't know, uh, uh, what type of volume it is, okay, how much, exactly where it traded, uh, and um, uh, the overall delta compared uh, to the selling, okay, who's in control uh, at these areas, and we want to know that. All right, so, um, and then let's see, uh, we were looking for, uh, uh, you know, large volume here on the sell side around here. Actually, uh, pretty pretty good sell volume up here, actually. Uh, you can see the sellers took control here, okay, uh, and then uh, you know we get we get a, re, a retest back to where we broke from here, okay, and then we see that sellers continue to come in here, all right, and uh, and we they're just now they're they're in control and they're hitting the bid hard, coming back down into where microstructure where we broke from here, okay. You can see the structure as well up here. Okay, this little structure from here to here. And we retest to that area as well. This is the kind of data that you can see uh, and get insight. And if you're bearish and you know that sellers are in control at this point, all right, and then uh, you can uh, start to look for an entry uh, to, this, to the short side up in these areas and these retests back to where they came from. Okay, all sorts of trades that you can take uh, in, in with this uh, kind of strategy. Anyway, that's just one of the insights uh, and one of the strategies and ways of, of trading bookmap. All right, so let's just zoom into this area because I want to show you the details of, of just these two simple elements that we're, we're plotting on the chart. And um, uh, this the insights that you're getting from it. it it's uh, uh, You can just see here, all it is is, uh, historical best offer here is the red line. Best bid is the green line, right? We can see the spread. We can see how the the, the offer is uh, you know bumping up a tick or two, or the the bid is uh, bumping down a tick or two here, right? Uh, and uh, you can see the spread widen a tick here, a couple ticks, right? So uh, that's all it is. Uh, now we're the, we see the transactions here, okay, with the volume dots. So um, we can see that uh, this volume here, in fact, we can use this data tip tool and we know it precisely what traded here. Okay, this is for a volume of 25. You see the date, the time, the liquidity on the ask at this uh, at this um, moment, uh, and then uh, the volume that traded. Okay, now let's continue to zoom into this area because we're probably gonna see more trades than just one here. I might not. Actually, it's just a uh, volume of 21. Let me let me double check that and insert a column, and I'm going to insert a trade counter. Yeah, it was one trade for volume of 21. So a pretty big trade for for Nasdaq. Um, and um, but you you'll note though, as you start to zoom into these areas, we pull apart all of the trading activity. Okay, so you can see that actually that one dot here when I zoom back out uh, is um, it's kind of uh, just visually uh, aggregated here into a bigger trade, okay? So it says volume of three, okay? But if I zoom in here, okay, and we're gonna zoom into, uh, you know, we're at, at microsecond level here. So we're looking at millions of seconds. And you can see this was for a volume of two, this was for a volume of one. And this is the aggressive buying, okay? Someone hit the market buy button, okay? They crossed the spread, they paid up for that, for it with the spread, uh, and they didn't provide liquidity, they took liquidity. That's what market buys and sells do. 
and uh, a dot is painted here on the best offer. All right, the uh, the opposite with a with a cell. Let's zoom out a little bit, and we'll see a cell. Here's your cell right here. Okay, so it's a red dot. It's an aggressive sell market sell. Uh, it took liquidity off of the best bid. Okay, so those are the two elements there. And you can you can get tremendous insight by uh, looking at this. Now, uh, many of you uh, maybe use a a footprint chart. Okay, I, I like footprint charts quite a bit myself. Uh, the only a there's two aspects though the footprint chart um, uh, they they don't they don't provide you. Um, well, one important aspect uh, it doesn't provide you, and that is the microstructure. Okay, it's going to be on a bar. Uh, and uh, it's going to rotate on a bar, and you're not going to see these details. You're not going to understand that this is where we broke from, and then this is an opportunity to get in here, okay, if you're bearish. Uh, and uh, if you're still bullish, well, then you would you would have probably bought this area here, okay, and, uh, and looking for a continuation to the upside, all right? Would have been a nice trade. At least you would have you could have taken a partial profit, maybe around the point and control in this area here, which would have been a, a nice little uh, uh, profit for about four four full points. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, and um, uh, looking at that microstructure and how the volume is reacting in that microstructure is the key. Okay, and that's the advantage that you're getting. All right, just very simple stuff. Uh, and um, uh, just very objective view of the market. So let's take the candlestick chart off here uh, and let's clear our drawings. Okay, and uh, zoom out a bit. Okay, so those are the two elements uh, that we're seeing so far. Now let's get to that third element and that's the heat map. Okay, and this is really the, um, the heart of book map uh, is, is this uh, heat map and understanding uh, uh, how it works here. Okay, so again, uh, from, from the beginning here, let's just look at the dome and the current market. Okay, everything to the right of this vertical white line here is the current market. Okay, this is your current best bid and offer here, and this, this number here is your last traded volume. Okay, here's your price ladder. Okay, and then here's your, here's your depth of market. Okay, so traders lining up here at, at these specific price levels to be sellers, providing liquidity limit orders uh, that's on the offer and then their buyers down here this is the market this is the auction that's currently going on and you can see these numbers are always changing that's part of the issue here is that they're changing and you have to memorize what that uh, auction look like this is very tedious to trade from the dome in this in this way uh, because we have to memorize exactly what that liquidity was how long it stayed there were they there previously? What about the areas around it? Okay, Were they, are they bidding up in front of it, front running this high liquidity, or are they, or are they, uh, uh, you know, uh, not as uh, keen and and providing liquidity behind it? Okay, showing uh, that they they don't want to trade at these levels; they want to trade at higher levels. Okay? That's a lot to understand and comprehend here. Okay, and uh, we can very easily uh, see this by turning on the heat map. So um, the heat map will, will, is a graphical representation of this liquidity here, uh, and uh, uh, then it's just plotted on the chart historically. So we can see exactly what occurred here. So look at this area here. This is high liquidity. Okay, we can use this data tip tool again. 137 contracts, and we came right up into this area here. Okay, let's see if they traded. Let's zoom in here and really get a feel for it. Okay. Uh, it looks like the majority of this traded to me. Like uh, they, they started pulling. Uh, you can see here that we have 99 contracts here. Uh, and then they start to trade into it. And they're, these guys are staying in the book. So out of these 99 contracts that you see over here, I can look at my volume column. I can look at these dots trading into that high liquidity. 99 contracts traded. Okay, That's fact. Okay, So this area here was absorbed. Okay, it absorbed all the buying pressure. Okay, not quite all of it. We went up a tick here and traded seven. Uh, so uh, uh, you can you can see that there. Uh, but um, let's get rid of this column here. Uh, so seven contracts traded up here. All right, and you can see though that uh, 
the uh, they're they're absorbing the buying pressure. Okay, and look at look at the result. Okay, we get a lot of insight by understanding these larger players lining up in these areas here and how they're behaving. Okay, so was this fake liquidity? Well, we just made a distinction between that and real real liquidity. Okay, this is not fake liquidity. They wanted to trade and they did trade. It's fact. Okay. Uh, and look at the buying pressure in this area here. We're not making higher highs any longer. And we can see exhaustion here. Let's zoom into this area. And let me put it into my chart range. This is exhaustion. Okay, no contracts traded up here, not one. Okay, so where's that buying pressure? No, they're not in the market any longer. They're not interested. They're not interested in chasing up after this uh, 88 level with the high liquidity up here. Okay, so it exhausts out. Sellers read that, okay, and they take control here, right? And they're uh, they're they're hitting the bid now, okay? And uh, they're charging up after some of these areas here, these guys that are providing higher liquidity at uh, uh, this 85 level. Well, here's your fake liquidity, okay? This is the distinction between real and fake liquidity. Very very clear here. They pulled, okay? We see a lot that traded down here, but um, uh, they're pulling liquidity. You can see all the way through. These striations here in the heat map is showing added and pulled liquidity. So this dark blue area here, or lighter blue, is 54 contracts. Then it jumped up to 60. Okay? Then it went back to 55, and then it went back to 57. So we can see the liquidity here and how they're behaving in this auction and their intent to trade. As we're price is starting to come down, look at these guys here. They pulled liquidity and added lower. It's probably the same player. So that that is a, a very interesting stuff to identify here in Bookmap because not only are we looking at areas of liquidity, we're starting to identify specific players. This guy looks like one of these players at these levels here pulled his liquidity here and added it lower at this very, very moment here. You can see that. Look at the crosshairs. And look how they pulled it at this moment and added it two ticks lower. And then we can see again here, look at the behavior. Okay, pulled it from this level and added it another two ticks lower. Okay, that's how this algo or this actor is behaving. Okay, and you can see that uh, people start uh, lining up now at this level. And again, we can read this level. Look at them starting to pull again. So they're not interested in trading here. That is fake liquidity. This liquidity up here, whoops, this liquidity up here was real. It traded, all right? So anyway, that's the basics of book map uh, and starting to put all of these kind of pieces together of, of a very, very objective view of the market by understanding uh, microstructure, uh, the volume that trades within that microstructure, and uh, uh, the, uh, the liquidity and how the liquidity is behaving in the auction. And that's it. All right, so if uh, you're signed up for the um, uh, next webinar, uh, we'll see you over there. Um, if not, uh, then uh, we'll see you tomorrow at the same time. All right, take care.